I've been super excited about some of these no-code tools lately, so I decided to put them to the test by building this little Bitcoin price tracker over the weekend. Now, I have to say, I'm absolutely sold. Web design and UI design in general, I think, once again, are very exciting. So what's happening in this project is I'm utilizing both Rive and Unicorn Studio, and both are positioned absolutely on top of each other within the viewport. They also work responsively and in unison with each other to create this cool rocket effect. With these new responsive layout features in Rive, it has also opened up a whole new world of creative possibilities. Now, I don't know about you, but working within a visual timeline to create animations as opposed to writing lines of JavaScript is a far superior experience. Unicorn Studio allows you to harness the power of WebGL and thus 3JS-like effects within a visual editor no coding. And while it's in closed beta at the moment, there's a lot of features and properties associated with all of these cool effects. So it is quite robust. Now, once Unicorn Studio goes public beta, hopefully in January, I'll show you exactly how I made this project. Now, in the meantime, check out some of these other projects made with these tools very recently. So here's what I think is going to happen in this industry going forward into 2025. I think we're going to see a lot of people transitioning to these tools as it's going to empower everyday non-coding designers to become more creative more easily. Now, that's not to say that it's easy. There's a lot of skill that's required to create projects with these tools that not only mine great UI design, but also UX. Nobody wants a slow, bogged down experience, all because the designer is gushing with excitement having overutilized these newfound abilities. Still, there's also going to be a learning curve and building entire apps or even just parts of websites that use these new tools sparingly will require relearning how you build apps, especially with Rive. Yes, you can now build web layouts that are responsive in Rive, but this isn't achieved through code like HTML and CSS. So you'll need to learn how to build layouts within their editor. And then there's a lot to learn and familiarize yourself when it concerns the state machines, artboards, nested artboards, timelines, layering, interacting with it on the outside from JavaScript perhaps or other tools, and even rigging and animation. So for me, that's the fun part though. Learning a new tool that will enable us to create heightened and new web experience should be a fun and exciting thing. So I'm personally going to be jumping back into the world of client work by offering work created with the help of these new tools. Honestly, it's like the first time in a long time, years, that I'm finally excited once again to start building on the web.